regardless of what finger it is. Okay. Still sent it to the PIP joint. Now you say, oh man, where do I put this marker? I don't know. Just tape it on the person. No, you can't do that. <laughs> Usually I put it underneath the sponge. So I'll see where the person is going to be positioned. I'll have the person raise your hand for me. I know where it is. I know where it's going to be. I just Now I just place my radiolucent sponge there. Now you can bring your hand back down. Okay. And now I'm not worried about it being in my image because I know it's on the edge of my cassette where I placed it. His hand is not. Or his finger, I should say. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Lateral. You guys are doing third digit. I need you to ball these fingers up into fists, bring them all back, use this hand. Oops, sorry, man. And I need you to extend that finger. Now I see where it is. I'm gonna bring his hand up. Why are you doing this way, trying to be medium? Oh yeah, third digit, my bad. Thank you, good observation. <laughs> good observation, yes. So I guess, mm -hmm. why does it Relax. matter? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Right? Because the third digit, how many fingers are to the lateral of that? When you place your hand on the lateral, right? We're gonna go to meet the lateral. There's only one digit below it, right? Mm -hmm. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now, if you go this way, idea. how many digits do you have in the way? Okay. Two. Okay. So you've got magnification. So when we because do the medial lateral, the, the only way. digit, medial lateral, turn your hand upside down. You only got one <coughs> digit in the way, causing your OID. You turn it this way, you've got two digits, making your OID even bigger. One digit? Um, two digits. I guess. I mean, no, right, it matters. <laughs> 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 no, Sorry. it yeah, is. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. I feel like it, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, okay, no, it makes different. sense. It makes sense because if you do it like this, then you guys see. It's so much more OID yeah. that you've yeah. added. Because okay. that's like almost yeah. 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 Okay, good question though. All right, so I'm going to use you to use the other hand. You're going to hold it upside down that way. You're going to bring it here. And you're going to push this outward. Push that finger out as much as you can. You can tolerate. This is what I was saying. Okay. Raise your hand again for me, relax. Okay. Again. Can hold that. Good. Just the very edge. Now, back in the center. And this, we're looking at the dot. Mm -hmm, the PRP. Okay. Okay. Again, just on the edge. No worries. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. okay. Okay. Now, if we were doing the fifth digit, let's just say randomly. And again, wall these fingers up. Okay. I'm gonna s okay. Now I'm gonna use this sponge with this hand and push that thumb outward. Again, every time the person picks their hand up, it changes where your centering is because they keep lifting it up to do something different, right? Mm -hmm. So you just want to keep checking that. And worst case scenario, if you feel like, oh man, I'm being like, I'm too tight, because some places they'll be like, oh, that's too tight, that's too tight. <laughs> then you just open it up a little bit, because sometimes they'll they be like, they look too close, they look too close. Again, if the person just wiggle their fingers or do something just different, relax it too much or push it back too much, it can be in their mark your marker, and they don't know any different. Right? So three and five is when we're using the sponge to push out, right? So you'll use it for any finger that the person can extend. Uh, Even if they couldn't extend, extend the first, okay, got you. if they can't extend this one, you got to push it to okay, help it. Got you. So whatever they can't do on their own. Okay. Now, when we're centering on the cassette, you want us to make sure that we're lined up with yep, the arrow? Yes, we're to be with both arrows, because that's the center. Okay. Center here and here makes us in the center. Mm -hmm. Cool? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. That's just your regular PAs for all of them, boom, mm -hmm. the laterals. The boom. obliques are the same, just as long as their fingers this are straight. One, this one's going like this, this one's going like this, like this. Yeah, one, two, and three and are medial lateral, are four and five are lateral medial. Like that. I mean, yeah, yes, that's yeah, right. Got it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it for those. Yeah.